In this video, I will demonstrate how to find the area of any trial triangle given its three sides. Now, we all are familiar with A is equal to base times height divided by 2. This is a little different. Uh, in this case, we have all three sides, but we're not given the height of the triangle. Now, in order to solve this, you need to know one very special formula, and that is referred to as the heroes formula. Some textbooks might have it as Heron's formula. Uh, well, that's what it's predominantly known as, Heron's formula. So if you see it in your textbook as Heron's formula, that's totally fine. Now here's the formula. It's very simple. S, this arbitrary letter, is equal to all three sides. Let's denote them as A plus B plus C divided by 2. And once you find your S, you will plug it into the next formula, which is the area. Area is equal to the square root of S times S minus A, S minus B. And notice how I've put them in parentheses. Make sure you do the same. So let's start off with finding S. And we calculate 3.25 plus 2.16 plus 5.09, divide that all by 2. I'll use my calculator to do this. 3.25 plus 2.16 plus 5.09, and we divide that by 2, and we get the following. Oops, multiply that by 2. Go back to our original. And we get 5.25. Okay. Let's write that down. 5.25. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Next, we will take 5.25 and we will place it into this formula. Very simply. A is equal to the square root. Hopefully I can fit it all in. 5.25. Five point two five minus our A value, five point two five minus our B value, and if you get a number that is negative, hypothetically, you've done something wrong. It should not be negative. This formula does not fail. So I'll plug that all into my calculator all at once, and then subsequently I'll square root. I can do it all at once right now. If you have a powerful calculator like mine, you can do it all at once. And uh, I'll do it all at once without having to do two steps. And I'm, all I'm doing is translating what I see here into my simulator for this calculator. And lastly, 5.25 minus 5.09. Now, if we press equals, we will get 2.27 as our final answer. Now, if you do not do it all at once, like I did on my calculator, you might get a number that's roughly 2.27. You might get 2.25 or something larger. Uh, so just keep that in mind that it's always best to do it all at once in your calculator. And if you don't have a calculator where you can see what you're typing in, I suggest you get one. It's a really good investment, and they're really cheap nowadays. Anyway. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions related to this topic or any topic, feel free to use our website at biology forums.com. Ask your questions there. It's totally free. It can be science, math, or any type of question we have tutors for that will cater to all type of learners. See you soon.